here at St. Matthew's Temple Church of God in Christ, where our pastor is the Reverend J.L. Griffin. So we can't be with you in person, but we are always here with you in spirit. So today we are going to broadcast our service to you and hope that the Lord truly blesses your spirit and your soul. After praise and worship, you will hear the word of God from our pastor. So stay tuned, enjoy, and let the Lord bless you. Amen. Water you turn into wine Open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you Thank you. 
We greet you this morning in the matchless name of Jesus. And we welcome all of our viewers by way of internet being with us this day. Shall we pray? Eternal God, we acknowledge that you are great. You are God and beside you there is none other. We come today to say a word of hope to your people. I pray that you might anoint me and use these lips of clay. That I might be an oracle and a vessel that will be used and anointed to give hope in this trying time. I ask the blessings upon us in Jesus' name, and we thank God now. Amen and amen. 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 I would first of all like today to thank all of the caregivers and the health workers, not only in the United States, but around the world, that have been working tirelessly trying to help those that have been infected with this coronavirus. And we're praying for you that God would isolate and protect you yes. from what you are fighting to keep us from getting. Yes. I would like to talk to you briefly today from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and verse two. The word of the Lord says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For the next few minutes, I would encourage your hearts with the subject, God will get us through this. Right. Yes. God will, yes, he will get us through this. Yes. In the text, you will find that going through rivers of difficulty will either cause you to drown or it will cause you to grow stronger. If we go in our own strength, we will more than likely drown. But if we invite God to go with us, I assure you today that he will get us through this. God will get us through. It's amazing, but if you notice in the Bible, the word through is one of God's most favorite words. Hmm. We'll get through this coronavirus. Mm -hmm. It won't be painless, nor do I promise you that it will be overnight. Hmm. But we will overcome this heartache. In his word, God has not promised us in this life an absence from struggles. But what he has promised us is to get us through. Yes. Right now, I know that we might feel as a nation and as a people that we won't get through. We might feel that this desperation will never lift. Some of us are feeling like the yelling and the finger pointing of why we are feeling that the pain and the confusion that we are experiencing will never end. Right now we wonder if our skies will ever be bright again. Mm -hmm. Will the financial loads that we are carrying ever lift? I've come to tell you that yes, we feel trapped. And many of us feel like we are locked in. But today I want you to know that deliverance in the Bible yeah, well, yeah. is what jazz music is to the Mardi Gras. Okay, come on now. <laughs> music everywhere. Yes, when you read your Bible, you'll find that deliverance is everywhere in the Bible. 
Our God delivered Daniel out of the lion's den. Yes, he delivered Peter out of the hands of the jailer. Uh -huh. The God that we preach and teach about delivered Jonah when he was in the belly of a whale. Yes. Yes. He delivered David out of the presence of an evil man known as Goliath. Even when the disciples were in the midst of a storm, God showed up and delivered them. Yes. He delivered Lazarus from the grave. Yes. God has a way, people of God, of delivering us out of stuff. Mm -hmm. Through the Red Sea on dry land, through the parched and dry wilderness of Egypt, and yes, even through the valleys of the shadows of death, yeah. getting through is not always going to be quick. However, yeah. <laughs> if you read the Bible, you'll find that Joseph was 17 years old when he was sold by his brothers into slavery. Yeah. He was 37 years old before he ever saw them again. Oh, Sometimes God takes his time. Yes, amen. Yeah. <laughs> the record is right. He took 120 years to deliver Noah and get him ready for the flood. Amen. He took 80 years to prepare Moses to go down and be the liberator of his people. Our God called David as a young boy and anointed him. But he turned around and sent him back to the pastures to tend to sheep. He called Paul to be an apostle. Mm -hmm. Paul at that time was known as Saul, but after he was changed, God did not send him to the evangelist field, but he rather sent him into Arabia. And there he spent three years before God got him ready. Even Jesus, whom we preach and teach about missionary, on this world and in this life, he was here 30 years. And the Bible records nothing that he did. And I use my imagination to believe that the most he ever did in 30 years was make tables in his father's carpentry shop. Well, yeah. But after 30 years, God anointed and used him. Yes. So just how long you asking me today, preacher, how long is it going to be before God gets us through this coronavirus? Mm -hmm. My answer is that I really don't know. Amen. History, how about yes. Yes. Well, well. History. Jesus. is not recorded in minutes. But history is recorded in the lifetime. Yes. What I do know is that God is going to get us through. Yes. 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 Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. <laughs> yes. 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 I'll leave you with this. Uh -huh. As the church, uh -huh. we are a modern day version of Joseph. Yes. We represent to Satan a threat. We challenge Satan's plan. Yeah. But we as a church must remember that we carry God in us. Yeah. 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 We therefore carry something of God that is noble and holy. Yeah. Sometimes we forget that what we carry uh. is really what the world needs. Yeah. Yeah. This dark world and this troubled time needs wisdom. Uh -huh. We need kindness. Yeah. We need mercy and joy. Yeah. And if the devil can somehow silence us now, yeah. then he's going to mute our influence to the world. Yeah. So my message to you today is during this trying and dangerous time. Yeah. Let's trust God. Trust As Joseph was in the pit, we find ourselves today in a pit. Yeah. But with all of the pit's rottenness and all of its
to heal. From when cometh my help? My help? Come on, come on, come on. You are almost going to make me say, look at your labor. neighbor's hand. But the more I think about it, missionary, why would we want to grab our neighbor's hand when our neighbor is depressed and we are just about half crazy. But the Bible said rather than grab your neighbor's hand, David said I will look to the heat. Oh, 